A student would learn in this class first that there is a history. I've designed the class as a series of questions, starting with what is dance, then what is new media as a whole genre. Then we go into the smaller sub-genres like what is dance film, what is virtual reality. I then also make sure that I'm not only talking at them, that they actually get their hands on the equipment. So I've created this year um, a media cart and some media kits, which are just Tupperware containers that have a little webcam and a projector and cables and everything they might need to just walk into a corner space, studio if they can get it, uh, and start to play. We also go to cinematic arts classes and as a guest we can go and look at some of their labs and I've had some people come and lecture in the class to give us a little bit of a, an overview of what goes on across the street from Kaufman. Anyone who is interested in dance or film or video editing of any sort could definitely benefit from this class because you do get that hands-on experience with the software and exploring with how movement and technology can intertwine. So dance and media as a class is not, it's not necessary that you have any dance training to take this class. One perspective I have is that dance is a broader description of movement than what you might be trained in in a form. That if you can organize your body in space in some way, then you're dancing. So I don't expect anyone to have any dance training and the classes I've taught it so far has been a mix of some dance students, some dance minors, some students from other schools in USC. And that mix is really beautiful because there's a collaborative effort that goes on and there's a sharing of discipline and knowledge that, that goes on that I really champion. It is an introduction to seeing how different art forms can be combined and you really get to work and create your own connections between different art forms.